Hi everyone, this is the update video for version 3.1.1. In this version we will see the following changes. First of all, Cartran CV is now available in a 64-bit version. The previous versions were 32-bit, which caused some memory limitations. This has now been resolved. Secondly, the solver is now about 3 times faster. Other than that, a tree building wizard has been added. And also in this version, it is now possible to lock actions for the solver in the post-flop phase. Finally, a new toggle is available to get weighted output for individual combos. So let's begin by looking at the new tree building wizard. Oké, okay, so here we have a turn tree where the pot is $42 and the remaining stacks are $79. We would now like to add a 2 bet tree where a player either bets $25 or checks. After that, in case of a bet, the opponent has the option to either raise all in, call or fold. Building such a tree with a new tree building wizard is really straightforward. All you need to do is right click on the decision node. And this will bring up the wizard. I will select bet plus raise. And I'll fill in $25 for the first bet. And an all-in for the second bet. Now if you want to enter an all-in, all you need to do is enter some large number and the software will automatically change this for you into the all-in value. I'll just enter 999. And there we are. I'll accept. And there's our tree. In order to keep our tree manageable, the play on the river has been minimized. And this creates a tree that should be really easy to work with. The new locking feature should make post-flop analysis quite a lot easier than before. If you want to analyze a hand, all you would need to do is enter the parts in the tree that you're interested in and let the solver fill in the rest with an equilibrium. So for example, let's say that we want to bet top pair or better, a flush draw or an 8 out straight draw. And we feel that filling would only push here with two pair or better. Other than that, we don't feel like filling in play for the rest of the tree, and we would prefer the solver figuring all of this out. To do this, all we would need to do is right-click the actions to lock them. And we can now run the solver to fill an equilibrium play for all remaining actions. Oké, okay, so after 3 seconds we're down to a DEV of 1 cent, which should be plenty. And there we are. Our expected value in this spot is $18.89. Now we might be curious as to how bad of a decision villain is making by only raising two pair or better here. We can check that by unlocking this action and see how much our EV will drop if we let Big Blind play optimally instead. And apparently it's actually really close to perfect play for Villain to be this tight. Our expected value only drops by 10 cents compared to the previous situation. It's also possible to lock conditions. Let's say that we have this tree and we basically feel that Villain will play in equilibrium. However, we want to add a restriction that when he has a gut shot, he will always raise. But within that restriction, we want him to play as he sees fit. Now entering a gut shot. And then locking the action won't work here. Because now the entire action is locked. Instead what we can do is keep the action unlocked. Enter a gut shot for Villain. And now enter some condition below it. I'll accept. No, we do not want to remove the last all hands condition. And now we right click the cut shot condition. This will bring up the weight editing menu, which now also contains an item locked. We will lock the condition. And now we have a locked condition. However, the action also contains an unlocked condition below it, where the solver can fill an equilibrium play. And there we are.
The condition was locked, however, the solver could still fill in the play in the unlocked condition. A new toggle has been added in order to provide you with weighted output. If you want to see the individual combos in the range, just mouse over it and press Alt plus W. And this will show you the weight for each individual combo. Should you want to know the weight for an individual hand, then just mouse over it in the matrix. You can also click on a hand to keep it selected, or select multiple hands. Oké, okay, that's it for this update video. Until the next one.